Animating text like this can be challenging, but this tutorial will help you how to do that. Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this typography animation in After Effects using animation properties. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and today we are going to use the animation text properties to create this typography animation and the best thing is that it is not that complicated. You only have to animate one of the text and later on you can just reuse it and with just little bit of tweaks you can create this entire animation which looks very complex but at the same time it's not. So let's see how you can make this. So first let's create a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Let's set this to 20. Just click on OK. So here we have our composition. Let's begin by creating a new background. So right click new. Let's add a solid. And for this one, I'm going to make it a little bit dark like that. Perfect. So here we have our background. We can lock this so that we don't accidentally select this. Now we can start adding our text. So let's select the text tool and just click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type animating. And for the font, I'm using this Montserrat. And for this one, let's just make it like a simple bold font like that. Now it's completely up to you can use whatever font you want. I'm going to use this one. So let's align it to the center. In, in case you are not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now we are going to also enable the title action save so that we can see where we are placing our text. First, we are going to animate the single word using the animation property. Later on, we can reuse them to create other text. So for that, let's open this up. Let's go to animate and we are going to animate its position and we are going to animate its opacity. So both of these properties. So opacity, I'm going to set this to zero. Position, we can play around with wherever we want our text to appear. So first, we are going to set this Y value to 100. So we want our text to appear from bottom. Also, let's go under the range selector. Let's add a keyframe for offset and I'm going to animate it from negative 100. Let's move like a little bit ahead and just set this value to 100. Now we can go under the advanced option and there are a couple of settings that we have to change. First I'm going to change the shape. So instead of square, let's set this to ramp up. Also let's increase the ease low value to 100 so that we have this very smooth animation. Now there are a couple of settings that you can play around. For example, if I play this, you can see right now it is animating word character after character. But if you want to animate the whole word, then you can change it from here. So if I set this to word, now if I press play, you can see now we have this very nice text popping up and in the same way we can create other text as well but for now let's stick to this so let's add one more text which is right next to it so let's call this one text and let's add some space you can play around with these text and you can just change their look so for example i'm going to make this like little bit black and let's change its color like that if you want you can play around with its size as well let's keep it over here so now if i press play you can see we have this very nice text and it is going to animate one word after other. So this is the basic of this animation. We are done with the animation property part. Now we can reuse this text later on. So let me show you how to do that. So first I'm going to like quickly make it a little bit smaller. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there you will get access to the tutorial project file, exclusive templates and all the advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. And now let's continue. Now along with this primary motion, which is this text appearing, we also want little bit of secondary motion to control our whole scene. So for that, let's add a null object. And we are going to parent this to the null. Now let's select this null, press S, let's add a keyframe and let's add a keyframe for position as well. Let's press U. Now in the beginning, we want this to be like a little bit scaled up so that our text is like animating in and maybe we can make it like a little bit more. Now we can select these keyframes, press F9 to ease them. Let's go under the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, then make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. And for this starting point, I'm going to like quickly change it to let's say something like this so here you can see we have this very nice text revealing animation perfect let's select this and we can play around with the timing of it if i move these keyframes far away you can see now the animation is slower now based upon your voiceover or lyrics whatever you have you can just play around with the timing of it but i think this looks good to me now in the same way we can add more text so for that all we have to do is just select this let's press ctrl d and this time we can place it down below now let's change this and I'm going to change this to like let's make this one 
black and let's increase its size and let's just align it somewhere around here now if i press play you can see the animation to this like text is already applied because we are just using the animation property and as soon as this text is appearing we want this to like move a little bit up so we can like move it somewhere around here now we can see like these keyframes press f9 let's get go to the graph editor and i'm going to change its value to somewhere around it looks good to me and let's play around with its timing so it is appearing from here so we want the position to start from here there you go now you can see we have added our this text now in the same way we can add more text as well let me just quickly do that let's type this and we can place this text somewhere around here now for this one we can change its animation property just to have a little bit of variation so for example instead of making it like appear from bottom what we can do is we can make it come from the top and for that let's select this text and if i open this up under the position property instead of y value i'm going to set this to zero i'm going to change it to the x value so that it comes from the right side so now if i press play you can see now this is coming from the right side like that there you go now we can add one more text so press ctrl d and move this text over here and let's type can and just align it over here for this one we can change it again so instead of making it come from this point we can make it like come from top so let's set this to zero and this one we can like move it to negative 100 so that this will appear from top let's add a little bit of delay there you can see now our text is coming from the top as well so at last if i press play you can see we have our text coming like this now we can add one more text and this is going to be like a little bit big so i'm going to press ctrl d and let's call this one b and let's just scale this up quite a bit and just align it somewhere at the bottom perfect now we can change its position and let's just select this press u so we have our animation till this point and after this we can again have position and scale keyframe and as soon as this text appears we can move this up and let's just slow down its size a little bit perfect there you go now also let's go to the graph and also change its easing now we can do one more thing we can change the easing of everything at the end but for now just for the sake of this tutorial i am going to like change it to this now if i press play you can see we have this very subtle animation and also let's select this For this one we can like make it 100 so that it appears from the bottom there you go like that now we can select this now let's select this text and let's press ctrl d and this time we want our text to come from the right side so let's just change this i've typed my text and let's change its color now i'm going to quickly align it to this side and this text will be quite big so just align it over here now again we can select this press u and right after this we can scale this null again and just change its position now we can align it somewhere around here now if i press play you can see we have this animation and let's play around one more thing let's increase its value and for this one we can tweak a little bit more so let's open this up and under the advanced property instead of words we can change this to character and now if i press play you can see we have this and maybe we have to play around with the easing over here Here we have the easing now if i press play you can see we have this text popping up 
really nicely and there you go now we have our next text so in the same way you can like keep on duplicating this text and keep on adding them wherever you want so for example we can have one more line down here and make sure to animate this null so that we have a little bit of secondary motion just to focus on any of these text to stylize this more we can do one more thing so for example let's hide and hide this and let's search for gradient and let's search for four color gradient let's drag it over here and let's make all of these dark this to be dark this to be dark as well and this one we can make it like this color and let's just move it a little bit far away let's place it over here so that we have this very nice background and at last we can duplicate this and let's apply grid to this and let's drag it over here we don't want to see the fill and let's just slow down the border and instead of corner let's set this to width and slider and just increase its value and let's lower down this so that we have this very nice background at the back as well there you go now if i press play you can see we have this very nice animation and this is exactly what i did in the final project so let me just quickly show you so this is the final project that you saw in the preview and if i press play you can see i have animated all of these text layer exactly how i showed you using the animation properties also i have added a little bit of this motion blur so for that all you have to do is just enable this like that and make sure that this motion blur for the composition is also selected now you will have this very nice text animation and you can see it looks very professional and it hardly took me like 15 to 20 minutes to create this so this is how you can create these professional typography animation in after effects using animation properties and if you want to get the project files then it will be available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.